गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इट्स अ प्लेजर टू हैव यू बैक इन अ हिस्ट्री क्लास लास्ट वीक वी हैड लर्न अबाउट द इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस पार्टीशन ऑफ बेंगाल एंड द एंटी पार्टीशन एजुटेशन लेड बाय द इंडियंस टुडे वी शिल कंटिन्यू विद हिस्ट्री चैप्टर सिक्स बिगनिंग ऑफ फ्रीडम मूवमेंट मॉड्यूल थ्री इन विच वी विल स्टडी अबाउट other important political developments that took place at that time let us study about the four point program of the indian national congress in the session of 1905 gopal krishna gokhale was the president of the indian national congress he justified the anti partition movement and in the same session the indian national congress adopted the four point program of swaraj swadeshi boycott and national education students the term swaraj means the self rule whereas swadeshi means to make use of goods that are manufactured in one's own country that is in india boycott means to abandon the use of the british goods whereas a national education was education meant to awaken the people the leaders decided to boycott the british goods since it would automatically attack the british economically simultaneously the demand of the indian goods would increase and thus giving opportunities of livelihood to indians this would further also make india self reliant and improve the economic condition of indian people and would earn respect for india children the indian national congress that remained united even after having ideological differences was split up let us study the cause behind it at first both moderates and extremists were united in the program of swadeshi and boycott but soon differences arose moderates were trying to keep aside the resolution of swadeshi and boycott whereas extremists wanted to spread it all over the country the moderates and extremists patched up their differences for a year but in 1907 these differences reached a climax during the congress session at pune which led to the split in the indian national congress students the strong protest by the indians during the anti partition movement deeply disturbed the british the british resorted to oppressive policies in order to prevent people from coming together and get united against them let us have a look at these oppressive policies of the british oppression of the british after anti partition movement The government was disturbed looking at the influential public protest. To control this movement, the government used the policy of suppression. Holding of public meetings was legally banned. Strict punishments were given to those who broke the law. School children were also beaten up. Many restrictions were imposed on newspapers. Many printing presses were confiscated on grounds of blame of criticizing the government. writers and editors were imprisoned strict actions were taken against the extremist leaders this led to a severe reaction in bengal the revolutionaries adopted the means of firing bomb blasts etc these bomb attacks were advocated through kesari newspaper by lokmanya tilak the charge of sedition was put on lokmanya tilak for which he was sent to mandale jail at myanmar for 6 years imprisonment Bipin Chandrapal was sentenced to jail and Lala Lajpat Rai was deported from Punjab. Let us look at the other policies of the British. Not only did the British resort to suppressive policies but also created a divide between the Hindus and the Muslims. Let us study how it had happened. When the Indian National Congress was originally formed Many Muslims had joined it but some of the Muslim leaders were instigated by the British and were made to believe that the Hindus were a threat to them and that the Muslims should have their own separate party 
encouraged by the British government, a delegation of upper class Muslims led by Aga Khan met the Governor General Lord Minto and an organization called the Muslim League of the Muslim Leaders was formed. Students, let us know about the Molly Minto Act. Looking at the dissatisfaction among the Indians, the British government passed the Molly Minto Reform Act in 1909. According to this act, the British promised to increase the number of Indian members in the Legislative Assembly and were ready to include some elected Indian representatives in the Legislative Assembly. In the same act, separate electorates were provided to the Indian Muslims, thus sowing the seeds of separatist tendencies in India. Then, in 1916, in the Lucknow session of Indian National Congress, an attempt was made to resolve the disputes in the Indian National Congress under the leadership of Lokmane Tilak. In the same year, there was an agreement between Indian National Congress and Muslim League known as the Lucknow Pact in which both parties agreed to have separate electorates for Muslims and work together for getting political rights for India. That's all for today children. Now read textbook page 28 and 29 and complete the notes that are given in the PDF file neatly in your notebook. Thank you.